welcome back friends in today's video we will be checking out how to create a recovery image or a recovery boot uh, image for your hp laptop so i got this new hp pavilion laptop that i am in using to create the videos for the channel so since uh, the blend os series i am using this laptop to create all the videos in uh, uh, HD format so all the videos are now in 1080p format so for that what you have to do is you have to first uh, download this uh, HP cloud recovery tool and then you have to right click on the icon app, app icon and then you have to run it as an administrator otherwise this tool will not work and it will again ask you to restart the tool in the administrator uh, because it requires uh, higher level privileges to work with the system files and then create the HP recovery ISO. So the ISO will be cre created and it will be installed inside the uh, blank USB drive. So I already inserted a 32 GB blank uh, USB drive. So the it will automatically detect the drive. When you start the tool for the first time, it will ask you to accept the terms and conditions. So these are the terms and conditions. This is the license agreement. You have to click yes on the terms and conditions of the license agreement and then proceed ahead. Then it will welcome you to the recovery tool. It will create a bootable USB flash drive for your HP recovery image. So the USB drive should be at least 32 GB or larger. Otherwise, what will happen? It will not create uh, the recovery image because the minimum size required is 32 GB. And suppose if something happens, your system fails to boot, you can insert the USB drive and it will, uh, you have to just follow the instructions and it will then recover your system. And most probably the data loss will be zero. And you can you can rerun this uh, HP Cloud Recovery tool to keep your recovery image updated. So every time you will insert this pay, uh, insert this uh, USB drive and uh, run this recovery tool, it will create a fresh uh, recovery image inside the USB drive. You have to insert the same USB drive. And also this recovery image will be downloaded in the system folder, most probably the download folder. And you can uh, reuse this recovery image to flash uh, different uh, USB drives as per your wish. So that it is very flexible. Now let us start and click on the next button. It will first check out the power supply. So you should be connected with the AC mains. Don't uh, do this process. Uh, with battery power otherwise during the download the battery might go off and then your system will uh, shut off and the ISO recovery ISO that is being downloaded will be corrupted. So now it is asking us to take part to improve the HP recovery tool quality by sharing your usage of the HP recovery tool and the additional technical for uh, information so we can say yes it, it won't be harming us now it will first detect the product id so there are two ways for first uh, by default it will automatically de detect the product id but you can also change the product id manually so if you are doing the download for some another uh, laptop or another product you can change the product id so you can download it from any for any of your HP products from one system. So you have to just manually change the product ID. So I'm doing the recovery image download for the same laptop on which this recovery tool is running. So I will go with the automatic detection. If you have got any other laptop for which you are going to use this laptop, the present laptop to download the recovery image, then you can uh, use the manual method to uh, give the input the product ID. So you, you must uh, know this difference so if you are doing it for the same laptop on which this uh, recovery tool is running you have to go with the automatic detection of the product id if you are uh, doing the recovery image download for some other product you have to click here and do the manual entry of the product id for which you want the recovery image to be created 
now you have to click on the next image so now it is asking us to select the usb drive to uh, use for your recovery image so you can see it i have already inserted a 32 gb blank uh, sandisk cruiser blade usb device so it is completely new i just bought it from the market few days back so it, it will require a format so you can see it here it is asking that it will format the usb drive so what we can do is if you want we can check out if some uh, software goodies are there inside the drive no the drive clones blank sometimes these drives come with some backup software or something like that that backup software you have to cut copy and put it even in your uh, in your drive so you can use it later so this usb drive is completely blank there is nothing no software backup software or any any other software goodies are in, installed so we can safely format this usb drive so you have to choose yes so now it is uh, doing the automatic partnering of the drive so the download has started we have to just wait for the download to uh, complete so it is now asking us where to backup the hp recovery so it is by default asking me to backup it to the dropbox the entire drive will be backup when plugged in or you can choose specific folder so let me choose the specific folders just a moment so i think it is uh, by default going to the dropbox it's okay so the download pro progress is quite fast 1% has already been done i am using a geo geo fiber connection so the download speeds are around 15 mbps i get this are the actual speeds so they might promise around uh, 25 to 30 mbps but that is not the case we get around 50 mb mbps in my area but 15 mbps is quite good i can uh, run all the my uh, videos and everything in uh, full hd or uh, even 4k also it is running without any glitch so up to 4k videos i can uh, watch on my tv without any issue so now we will wait for the download progress to complete and then uh, we will uh, go ahead along with the system we want let us check where this image is getting downloaded where is this one yes yes so it is i think getting downloaded here in the cache so let us wait for the download to complete
it will take another uh, maybe 10 15 minutes to complete best time to do this is in the night time after 11 uh, pm when the network traffic comes down so you can Okay, so I think the installation of the recovery mesh to the USB drive is complete and the recovery USB flash drive is ready for use. So do you want to remove the downloaded temp files to save the disk space? So we can say yes. And now you can boot the system using this USB drive. So whenever you have got some issue, there is a blue screen or your screen does not uh, or your system does not boot up for any reason. You can uh, start the system using this bootable USB drive and then you can rever, uh, recover the system and make it op operational again. So with this I will stop the video here and one thing uh, what is the difference between the uh, Windows installation ISO and the HP recovery image. So HP recovery image will contain the HP tools in addition to the Windows image. So it is a com complete factory image. So you can make your system, so if your corrupt system again, just like it was in the past, just like it came from the uh, Windows vendor or the dealer. So it will uh, have the HP tools included and the uh, partitioning of the system will be done according to the HP and not to the Windows. So uh, this dealer's uh, uh, like HP vendors like HP, uh, Lenovo, Dell all have different uh, style of partitioning. The, the recovery image, the recovery partition size is also different because they have got a different tool sets. The HP, uh, HP like partitioning and the HP tools when you use this HP recovery USB drive to repair your system or to do a clean install also. So I will show you how to do a clean install of uh, the system using HP recovery uh, USB drive. So we will try to do that in uh, a virtual machine if possible. So thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye bye.